Good evening, uh, Living Hope. Um, I also want to welcome any of you out there that uh, may not be a member of, uh, of Living Hope Baptist Church. Um, I, thank you, I thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Um, I'd also like to mention that, you know, if you have any prayer requests as we continue to do this um, on our weekly Friday evenings, if you have any prayer requests that you'd like to, to uh, leave, just leave a, uh, um, a comment um, on this video and we'll be more than happy to uh, next week to, uh, to pray for you guys. Um, so just going to hang on just another minute or two to let some uh, other folks come in and join the video. Uh, appreciate all you guys that are already joining. I don't want to leave anybody out. So like I say, I, I don't want to sit here also just in, in silence, but uh, I, I want to wait just a minute or so. I want to thank you guys, the ones of you that have sent in prayer requests this week. I really appreciate it. We have quite a few. Um, and we'll take our time as we go through and lift all of these up to the Lord tonight. Um, I definitely, when we get started, I definitely want to, uh, to pray for our country and just this entire situation that's going on within our country. Uh, once we get through some, some general prayer, we will spend the rest of our time uh, going to the Lord, lifting up these specific prayers and petitions before him. Um, so with that said, it looks like there's uh, quite a few folks on here um, at this point. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Like I said, we've got quite a list here tonight. So I want to make sure we have plenty of time to... Uh, to spend praying for, for all of these different prayer requests. So let's go to the Lord in prayer, and I pray that you would go to the Lord with me and, and be in agreement in prayer with me. Father God, as uh, I come to you tonight, Lord, I just come acknowledging, Lord, that uh, I'm who you are. You are the great and mighty God. You are the most high God. You are Jehovah. You are Yahweh. You are the great I am. And Lord, I'm so thankful that in your word that you assure us that if we come to you um, in faith, anything that we lift up to you will be done. And you also tear, tell us that the prayers of your saints, as they enter that throne room of grace, they sound, they smell. It's just a, a sweet fragrance that rises up into your nostrils. And Lord, as I read that passage, I just, I think of walking in on a Christmas morning and, and smelling cookies baking in the oven. And I just kind of envision our prayers, Lord, um, being that way to you as, as they enter your throne room. Lord, I do want to pray um, tonight for our country. Um, Lord, I want to pray specifically for those that are in leadership positions in our country. Uh, I pray for, you know, our local uh, politicians here. I pray for our governor. Um, I pray for the mayors around the state. Um, Lord, I do want to pray specifically, though, tonight for our president. Um, Lord, I just lift him up to you. I pray, God, that you would give him wisdom I pray, God, that you would give him knowledge. And, Lord, as he meets with his task to um, do what they can to try to stamp out this virus, I pray that you would enlighten those scientists and those doctors, Lord, that are helping him make decisions, and that you would give them wisdom and knowledge as well, Lord. Lord, we know that you're in complete control, and we also know that... Um, you know, Lord, no matter what happens, that um, it's happened in your will and in your timing. And Lord, we can just uh, settle in on that and and really believe that with all of our heart and just, uh, uh, you know, not let this situation stress us out or cause us um, 
cause us undue stress. Lord, I want to pray um, also for our community. Lord, I just lift those up um, around in our general community. I pray for those. Lord, in our community that may be unchurched, um, Lord, I just pray that you would take this entire situation, Lord, that is uh, is plaguing our community and our nation. And God, I know you're going to turn it around for something good because you tell us in your word um, that you you can take things, Lord, that um, that we perceive to be bad and, and make something good out of them. So I have no doubt in my mind that this virus um, will be the same way that you will that you will use this for your good and for your glory um, in one way or another. Lord, I want to pray for um, all of those um, nurses and doctors and police officers and firefighters, all of those that are on the front line, Lord. I just lift them up to you, and I ask tonight, Lord, as I plead the blood of Jesus over each of them. I ask Almighty God that you would just send angels, just legions of angels to put a hedge of protection about each of them. Lord, I pray that you'd keep them safe. I pray that you'd keep them from harm's way. And I pray, God, that you would give them the strength to continue on, Lord, in this fight um, against this virus, Lord, that is a uh, uh, moving across and, and in and through our, our country. Lord, I do want to remember those in our church tonight, Lord. I just pray for our church in specific. I want to pray for our pastor. I want to lift our pastor, um, Pastor Robbie, up to you tonight. Um, Lord, I pray also for Miss Maureen. I pray for their children. Lord, I just, uh, I, I'm thankful to you for them. I, I'm so grateful, Lord, that, that Pastor Robbie, you know, heeded your call and uh, came to, uh, to live in Hope Baptist Church. And Lord, I just pray that a hedge of protection about he and his family. I just asked also, God, that as I plead the blood over their lives, I pray that you would also put a hedge of protection um, about them, Lord, and that, that you would just keep them safe and that you would also uh, keep them from harm's way. Lord, now I want to turn our attention to our specific uh, prayer requests that have been sent in. Lord, I want to pray for a young lady by the name of uh, Kathleen Colvin. She is a paramedic in uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, again, she's one of these frontline um, individuals that are help fighting this virus. And I just pray, God, that that you would look after her, that you keep her safe, um, and that you keep her from getting getting this virus. I also want to pray for a young lady by the name of Sarah Jones. Um, she is a nurse in Virginia Beach. Again, a frontline worker, Lord, fighting this virus. Um, just ask Almighty God that you would keep your hand of protection upon her um, and that you would keep her safe and keep her from harm's way. Pray for Inslee Colvin, a firefighter over here in Greenville. God in heaven, I just pray a hedge of protection in this situation. I just pray, Lord, that, um, that you would do a great work and just keep all of our firefighters safe. Um, and just keep all of all of them from harm's way. Um, Father God, I lift up to you tonight, uh, Miss Lorianne Selch. Um, Lord, Miss Lorianne is having pain in her knee and just having issues with her leg. I pray, Almighty God, that you would reach down through the portals of time. I pray that you would touch her knee. I pray, God, that you would take any... Um, uh, any pain from her and that you would completely heal her knee. Um, Lord, I also want to pray for her family. I think most of us know uh, Miss, Miss Lorianne has quite a bit of family up in New York and we've all seen on TV and, and heard on the news um, 
you know, that things are quite different in New York than they are around here. Um, so God in heaven, I pray right now for protection of her family. And I pray, God, that you would just do a great work in each of their lives. Um, Lord, I have a, a, a prayer request here to pray for family and friends that are going through, um, going through the storm right now. Um, God, we know that trials and storms can strengthen us. We know that trials and storms can grow our faith. Um, so God, we just, uh, we pray for those that are, are in these storms right now, but we also ask that, you know, that they not miss what you're doing in their lives and that you are working to grow their faith. Um, also have a prayer request to pray for those that have drifted away from God. Um, those that may have, have backslid, um, I mean, God, there's, there's many of those. We probably each have some in our families that are in this situation that aren't just quite as close to you as they need to be. Um, or maybe they have back on you all together. Uh, we just pray God for each of them and pray that there would be an awakening and that they would, uh, you know, heed the warnings, Lord, of, of everything that's going on around them. Um, I also want to pray for those that aren't saved. Um, Lord, I know each and every one of us have family members and friends that aren't saved. And I just pray right now, God, that, um, again, that you would use this whole situation to wake people up and let them realize, Almighty God, that, you know, the time draweth nigh and that, um, you know, the day... Um, the time of salvation is today and that we shouldn't wait and that if we have any family members that we need to be pursuing them. We need to be telling them about the gospel, we need to be um, telling them what Jesus has done for us in our lives. Uh, plant that seed, you know, and let, um, let God uh, do his thing. I want to pray for the, uh, the, the family of Robert Driver. Um, Mr. Driver has, has passed away. Um, Almighty God, I pray for his family. I ask Almighty God that you would let that peace that passes all understanding fall on his family. I pray, God, that um, this family would feel you and know that you are, um, that you are near to them. I also want to pray for Rhonda Brooks. Miss Brooks has pneumonia. Um, I just put a healing hand upon her. Um, Lord, we know that you are the great physician, and we ask Almighty God that you would just do a great, great work um, in, in their life, in uh, her life. Um, last week, we prayed for some nurses in the Anderson area that um, were sick and potentially even thought maybe they uh, were infected with this virus. Um, I do have a praise report today that all those nurses that we prayed for are doing much better. So I would ask that each of you um, that can hear me would continue to pray for them and that um, during your prayer time as God puts them on your mind and on your heart, um, that you would lift them up to him. I want to pray tonight for uh, Mr. Buck Richardson. Lord, he... Uh, was supposed to be going to the doctor soon, but his appointment got canceled. Um, and now they can't see him until May. Uh, you know, and he continues to struggle, Lord, with pain. And um, God, I'm just asking tonight in Jesus' name that you would touch Mr. Buck and that um, I'm asking, Lord, that you would just completely um, supernaturally heal him tonight. Um, so, God, I'm expecting that you would do that great work in his life. And uh, I ask, Lord, that um, that you would do a great work in his life. Um, I want to pray for um, Jesse Rhodes' family. Uh, Jesse uh, passed away this afternoon. So, I also uh, pray that peace that passes all understanding to uh, to be on the Rhodes family. And, and God, I just pray that you would just uh, snuggle up to this family and that you would let them feel your presence, Lord. Um, 
in their life. Uh, I want to continue to pray for uh, Kendra's mom's husband, Charlie. Um, he has been moved to rehab. So, uh, Almighty God, I pray that as he is in this rehab now, that you would help him, Lord, to recover quickly and that he would uh, you know, be back to himself soon and uh, be able to get home. Um, tonight, I want to lift up uh, Miss Shelby K to you. Um, Miss Shelby is still continuing to have issues and she's still in pain. Um, Lord, I just uh, I pray that you would touch her body. I pray that you would take this pain from her. Um, I pray, God, that you would just completely restore her once again, um, just back to whole. Um, and then lastly, but certainly, um, not in the least, Lord, I want to pray for Mr. Ray. prayed for him as well last week. Uh, he is still in the process of rehabbing from a stroke. Um, so, God, I just pray right now that you would um, touch Mr. Thompson. I pray that you would heal him. I pray that you would also, um, Lord, restore him back to whole. Um, Lord, I just... Uh, I want to thank you for this privilege and this opportunity, God, that you have given us um, as your children, as members and body of your church, to be able to come to the very throne room of grace. Lord, just whenever we want, whenever we have a need, um, we can we can access that throne and Lord, that is such a great and mighty privilege, Lord, that you have that you have bestowed upon us. And I just tonight, Lord, want to thank you. Um, thank you for that opportunity. Lord, I do consider it a great privilege. I consider it a great honor that my brothers and sisters would entrust me enough um, with their loved ones and their family and friends um, to be able to pray for them and lift them up to your very throne. So uh, again, Lord, thank you for this mighty opportunity that you've given to me. And uh, Lord, I, I promise you, I don't, um, I don't take it lightly. Uh, Lord, I just want you to know that tonight that I love you, I praise you, and I thank you for all that you do. And it's in Jesus' precious and holy name that I pray. Amen. Um, guys, all of you that have uh, joined in live tonight with me and, and prayed with me and agreed with me, I'm so thankful um, that you took the time out of your schedules. I know, uh, you know, there's lots of other things you could have been doing. Um, you could have been doing all sorts of things, but now that we're all kind of, uh, stuck in our homes in the evening and uh, trying to uh, take care of ourselves. And um, as we uh, do our uh, social distancing from one another, uh, there's not much else we can do but but uh, watch TV or a movie or just spend a little time with our family. But I do ask that during this time that everybody would take a little extra time and um, be in the Word a little bit more, a little more time talking to God and uh, just praying, um, praying for one another. Um, and I want to leave you with this. And uh, this is uh, specifically for my brother, um, Steve McAllister, but uh, it, it's, I'm going to share it with each of you. When I read this, I literally um, pumped my fist and um, almost uh, shouted out loud when I read it. But um, I want you guys to know that there is no need for you to be upset that the church is going to be empty on Easter morning because the tomb was empty too. Love you guys, and I hope you have a great evening and a great weekend, and I can't wait to see each of you.